Hello everyone, welcome back to my little jungle. So yes, we are here. We're back on my white table and I planned I have a plan to repot these phalaenopsis here. Well, I don't have a space to put it right now because it is sitting in a terracotta pot and this is the lining of the terracotta pot. That terracotta pot has a hole, so it's all right. But I don't have a place to put it. I don't want to put it on a porch because our porch is, um, the wood is treated and it's not good for plants. So anyway, without further ado, I am going to use this here. Ta-da! I have this media here already, but we are going to remove the the moss first. So let's just do pull this off here. Well, I cannot pull it off right away, so I'm just going to do this way here. I'm rumbling again. Come on now. What's wrong with my brain cells? I really don't know what to say. <laughs> well, what's going on in my brain? There's a lot of things going on in my brain right now. So it's kind of hard for me to think just for one moment <laughs> about the planting plants. Because, you know, I have a lot of... I have a lot of hobbies, actually. So that's why my brain cells is kind of messed up <laughs> but anyway i'm just trying to remove that and i'm gonna pull this one but it doesn't want to pull yet so we're just gonna continue digging it so this tongue here my husband bought it for me for my succulent growing purposes <laughs> but I also don't have luck of growing succulents. I don't know why. What's wrong? They said don't water so much, so I don't water so much. Still, didn't work. But I think I'm going to rest succulents this year. Maybe next year I'm going to continue that. I'm just going to focus on my orchids this year, I guess. That's what I'm going to do. All right, let's pull this. Oh, come on now. <laughs> so if you can see, this pot still usable. So I'm just going to wash this and sanitize it so I could use it with my other plants. And I can even use it with my other orchids if I would like to use it. But right now, it's going to go right here. And we are going to clean the roots So I have a moss here. I don't want to remove the spike. So it's gonna stay right there. I'm just going to remove all this old media because if you can see I took too much already and there's no roots. Well, there's some roots, but most of the roots have degraded already. Maybe because of the media and, you know, it came from a big box store, so. That's why I hope my camera don't die on me because it's already too hot out here. Ooh, there's something wrong with the roots and with the cane here, I mean. All right. I think I'm gonna need my um, my scissor. I'm just gonna remove this here. That way it don't hurt the spike. I never have a problem repotting orchids that has flower spikes the only problem I encountered whenever I'm repotting 
flower that has spikes was when I bump the spike <laughs> and break so but something happened right here if you can see it's kind of black but it's all right I'm going to treat it with a Fison 20 later so it's all right it's still good the flo I mean the flower the plant's still good so we will see this is actually a um, a dying orchid in Lowe's <laughs> so at Lowe's so that's why I just wanted to save it that's why I got it but okay <laughs> it pull off it's so easy yep that's already the mosquito is biting my hand even if I'm working so hard here so I'm just gonna use my old scissor here don't worry these are always clean because after using it I always mm, sanitize it always make sure they're ready to use whenever I needed it so after working with these I will definitely going to sanitize this again so whenever I am going to use it it's ready so I just don't want these rotten roots to be inside my pot oh look what I did ah, I told you the only bad gonna happen with my orchids when I bump it oh, I wish I took my pruning scissor because I think needs more pruning here maybe I should just remove that huh anyway it's gonna shoot a new roots so instead of dealing with it later you know removing it from the pot because something bad happened with the roots I'm just gonna take it off right away so all right so it's pretty clean now and ooh, there's more here just trim it right here yep needs trimming there so i i'm just going to remove this leaf here because I want to clean that part I'm gonna clean this part here so that's why I'm gonna remove that okay. So we got it off there okay let me just rinse it I don't want to rinse it right here because I have my tripod I don't want to mess up my tripod but I have my water hose just right next to me so whenever I need it I just go get it here okay it's pretty much clean now it actually don't have a problem right there all right I need to clean my hand too <laughs> mm. okay my hands are clean and mosquito bites my hand 
yeah I don't want to water here because my tripod I don't want to you know my tripod get rust so we remove that leaf here and if you can see there's nothing wrong with it so we're good I cannot use it anymore oh look at here I have a growth here I think that's a mm, a root and I have a gro growth here as well so we will see if that's a cakey because this plant is trying to um, survive trying to make themselves feel good but you know all right so I don't have my I think I have it here oh it's kind of ugly let me just rinse this too because I don't want to contaminate my potting everything are clean out here my grow space everything that I use is just <laughs> I just leave it right there and sometimes when it rain get rain water and um, they always get this little greenish thing the algae algae whatever however you want to call it but yeah we don't want that right away there they'll gather some later but i don't want it right away yeah i'm out of the camera <laughs> okay so if you remember i put my uh, yeah my works my workspace is so dirty now um if you remember from my previous video um i put i told y'all that i put a chlorine um in my basin because i am trying to um sanitize this yeah i already rinse it so it's good now so we are just going to put this little big one I'm, i always want to put this at the bottom of the hole so that whenever i'm watering the water will just go right in there so i'm going to use the bigger ones first that's why i have several um different sizes because i want the big ones at the bottom and then as i go i am going to put the smaller ones i actually used to use um the lava rock when i was just starting to collect orchids but i stopped using it because i tried to use a um i tried to f i actually tried to imitate those other friends that are using a different media they use a orchia bark and their orchids are doing great as well but um i think it was yesterday or day before yesterday i looked and i was trying to see how much the archaeological bark cost now and it cost arms and legs so i just thought about i'm just gonna go back using my lava rock in potting my my orchids because the orchiato bark is so expensive already so anyway my orchids grow nice on lava rock so why should i just use it huh instead of me expanding that hilarious price of 
yeah it's so ridiculous now the prices of everything so anyway I am just gonna go back using my favorite um, media which is the lava rock yeah this is my favorite media and I was just starting collecting orchids I actually have a bunch of lava rock that I've collected those are still in its original bag baggies yeah and plastic bags I've never used it yet because like I said I stopped using it because I tried the bark I also use mount I mounted my my orchids but those orchids are now in, they died <laughs> oh yeah they died because I left it all out here years ago I think two years ago because it was infested with spider so I just don't want to get bitten with the spider so no I just leave it out here and it didn't survive of course the winter <laughs> so that's what happened that's why I was still collecting orchids I have started collecting orchids again so that's it this is how I'm going to do with the other ones so we have a potted Ta-da! <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do with this one is I want to hang it. I want to hang it. So I have already made a lot of this hanger right here. This is the hanger that I am using. Um, I have made this a few days ago because I used it already it's just i want my oh this is too short it's all right i want <laughs> i'm burping <laughs> i want my orchids to be in a um how do you call that <laughs> I'm gonna sanitize later um, ah, on my orchid tower so that's why I put this right here but yeah I wanted to make sure I have equal yeah I have used this already that's why it's not straight that anymore that's straight it's so annoying whenever it does this and it took my time so much but anyway I'm just going to hang these orchids because oh my gosh it is easier to deal with this wire when it's just done I just done making it that's this time hmm okay I want it straight <laughs> okay let's do this here first I guess okay oh gosh it's making me crazy so anyway i'm just gonna do my hand i guess i just mm. okay maybe that way maybe that will work it kind of achy for my hand <laughs> to do this but we need to do with it i need to do with it because it's not cooperating with me all right so I did it so if you can see I have holes right here 
this part has holes all over it can you see it nope yeah there so that's where I'm gonna put this hook so I'm just gonna make sure I have enough room here there you go got it I need flyers for that I really don't need flyers but it's just hurting my hand I don't like it oops so there you go that's how I do it and then later I'm just gonna deal with it again when I'm done putting all together these here. Alright. Uh oh. I think I did not put it in in a correct space. It's alright. It's alright, it don't matter. So we have one more. I think I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay. So we're good. All right, friends, that's all for this video. <laughs> Sorry if I take your time too much, too much of your time, I mean. But that's how I'm going to take care of my orchids. I hope you can see it because I can't see it's so glary. So, and then I am just going to put something here to um, my slow release fertilizer. But before that, I'm just going to treat them with a Fison 20 later this afternoon. So, thank you, thank you so much everyone for watching. Like I said, I am not going to remove I removed the flower. I'm not going to remove the the spike. So it's gonna stay here. And I have a I'm gonna hold it later with the clip. <laughs> I have a clip, orchid clip. So thank you so much everyone. I don't know how long the video already, but that's how I deal with my new orchids and See you on my next one. Bye.